What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Today is probably the disc review that I've been most looking forward to and it's mainly for two reasons. First reason is if you haven't read the title, which of course you did, otherwise why are you watching this besides, I don't know, you want to see me throw some discs. I think it's more likely that you're here to see the flight of the yarn or jarn or iron or however the heck you're supposed to say this. So that's the first reason why I'm so excited about this one. Number two is I've been trying to film this for about three weeks straight. Why I haven't been able to do it is over here in Texas lately it has been either raining every day or we've had 30 to 40 mile an hour winds literally I'm not even exaggerating it's been 40 mile an hour wind gust with steady 20 to 30 mile an hour winds it's been ridiculous and on the days that it's not super windy it's raining so I haven't had a good chance to do it but we're gonna get out there throw this thing around the field and see how it flies I'm super pumped about it can't wait to get her done but before we get into the review we'd like to thank our sponsors for today's video farm fresh butt nuggets <laughs> so ridiculous <All> right. <clears throat> farm fresh butt nuggets without <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do this one. <laughs> but first, we'd like to thank today's sponsor, Farm Fresh Butt Nuggets. Without you, not only would we be able to have delicious omelets and other assorted egg items, but we wouldn't have the means to shoot this review. So thank you for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the review. Remember, we got the race to 500 giveaway. We're making our way there. With your guys' help, we're gonna get there. Once we hit 500 subscribers, somebody's gonna get this first run Mint Spay. We're gonna choose at random one of our subscribers and then we'll mail this out to you. So make sure you're out there sharing and liking and doing all the good things. Let's get this up to 500. Somebody's gonna get this Spay. So the numbers on this bad boy four and a half three zero three with that four and a half speed it's almost a mid-range I know it's a it's a it's a putting approach more of an approach it actually says approach disc on here instead of putting approach and I like that because I think a putting approach you should be able to putt with and approach with and I'm sure you could putt with it but I doubt anybody's really gonna be putting with this thing it's it's gonna be more of that approach disc that nice overstable wind fighting reliable fade approach disc now I have three of them I got my nice poison one because you gotta have poison and castoplast and I have a translucent pink one and a solid white one now that's the cool thing about castoplast is both of these are K1 this one obviously solid this one obviously translucent so you can choose which way you want to go and the plastic feels exactly the same cast plastic is the best one thing I'm kind of seeing with these is the white one and the pink one super super flat they're actually concave I don't know if you'll be able to see it but trust me both of these are concave 
this one while it's flat it does have a little bit of a raise but it's pretty dang flat so that's pretty much telling me this will probably be my longer flyer and these will probably be more overstable we'll have to see when we get out there you can see the flavor profile here it's it's got a nice rounded edge on the corner and then it just slopes down and has no bead I'm not huge on the beads but they're not a deal breaker when it comes to throwing and approaching I don't really notice them as much on putting I'm not a bead guy but like we said earlier we're not gonna be putting with this thing that's enough John all dang day let's go see how these things fly So you can see, very, very stable. I didn't think that it was going to be that stable. I knew it was going to be overstable, obviously. Being a lower speed disc and then being a zero turn and a three fade, I was thinking more along the lines of a zone or a harp, but it's actually more stable than those. And that's pretty cool. Thrown at low height with good speed, it's going to get some really good ground play. You're going to be able to get in and skip. If you put some good height on it, it's going to pretty much go up stall and then just spike down. I was only getting this thing 270, 275, maybe. I was getting about three quarters of the way down the football field. And honestly, I was only really getting there whenever I would put it on Annie. If I threw it flat, it seemed like almost immediately I could see it was coming out hyzer. Like this disc just wants to hyzer. 
I really don't know until I edit the video, but I feel like I was throwing it flat and like 20, 30 feet out in front of me, it was already looking like this. So I don't know if that has to do with the stability or just me throwing it, who knows. But the thing, no matter how I threw it, was always finishing lift, always. Even whenever I threw it on the big ante, it would hold that ante for a little while, flatten out and keep moving, but then it would flatten out and fade. So, very reliable disc. I do think there's a space in my bag for this. For my overstable approach is usually my Super Soft Slammer or my Lucid Justice. You know, it's actually, th this flies a lot like a slower Justice. I can actually get the Justice to go flatter longer, but it fades just as hard. So I think with a little bit more throws with this, I'll be able to figure out the right amount of pop to get it to go straight and longer and then fade. On the throws where I would get a good throw and not uh, come out too early or yank it to the right, it was really going pretty straight and then just immediately just fading and I think I got a good spot in my bag for something like that either this will take the justice out or it'll be a little compliment to the justice like if I want the same flat as the justice but to go a little shorter I'll throw the yarn I think that's where it's gonna fall my slammer it's not as overstable as these of course um, I get that thing to go a lot straighter longer uh, when I throw it with full power, it just goes and then barely finishes while this thing is going and just whoosh, going left. I think that's where it's going to go. It's going to fall right in between that slammer and that justice, and that yarn's going to be right there in the middle. And I think I'm going to go ahead and stick that guy right in the bag. I think it's actually going to kick out the interceptor. I think that's what's going to happen there. But we hope you enjoyed this review. We love it here. It's a great disc. It's a very appreciated, welcome addition to the Castaplast lineup. They needed a good overstable disc. Most of their discs, save for like the Rask, for example, are is more neutral to understable. And this is a good showing that they're going to start getting some beefier discs out there. And I like that. Next, I'd like to see a that verdict type mid-range. I want to see an overstable mid-range come. I think we're going to kind of get that because I know the Rico X is coming out pretty soon and so I'm looking forward to that and you can look forward to that here on the channel once that happens. But that'll be more that overstable putter and I, th I think that'll kind of fill that slot of that overstable mid-range until we actually get the overstable mid-range. But we hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications. You can click this guy right here and subscribe right now. Check out a couple of these videos. Maybe this guy here. We'll see you next time on In The Bag Disc Off. Farm Fresh Butt Nuggets. This is the most ridiculous thing. God.